Welcome back to Dave and Audrey Does Outdoors. Welcome to our home for the night in the woods. It's it's warm, but because it's quite clear, I think it'll end up dropping below freezing tonight. So we're back in probably my favourite little spot, fairly local, not too far, not too stressed getting here. Um, managed to pack up quite quickly. You're always a bit worried that you've forgotten something quite vital, but we'll soon find out. So tonight, a bit like last weekend's camp, we're actually, this is our second camp at 22. Um, we've got the One Tigress Smoky Hot Tent and the Pomoli Small Titanium um, Wood Stove for inside because she adored it. She absolutely adored the fire last weekend so um cup one one or two little new bits we're having a nice bit of a dinner cooked on the stove um there's plenty of wood up here i've got a saw i've brought my axe i'll be able to like do some splitting get some dry wood we've only got about 45 minutes maybe an hour max of daylight so i'll crack on we'll get the tent up we'll get some wood prepped we'll get the stove set and I'll try and give you a couple of kind of sort of like pictures of the stove because I know there's quite a lot of interest in the, the Pomoli um, little titanium stove. So thanks again for tuning in. Um, it's much appreciated. Thanks again for all the support. Stay tuned. Picking yourself some kind of cheap work gloves. Um, these are only like a matter of pounds off eBay. And um, they last, you, you'll get a good year for a fiver um in fact that no it's not cut these are my second pair but worth kind of keeping your hands clean if you're going to do some putting up tents with food prep later on so these are quite good for clearing fire you know dirty stuff um this is the, the wood stove it fits nicely and again three kilograms in weight, so like three litres of water, not not masses of, of weight. So we'll get that set up in a minute. Um, and then the tent here with a bit of an under sheet as well on the bottom of the, the rucksack. Um, packed it really quick today, which is always a bit worrying because you don't want to sort of forget them. But I've got lighters, I've got my sleeping bag, Matt, she's got food. I think she's got enough clothing and bedding. But we'll be quite cosy tonight. It's not going to be a super cold night, so... Um, right, crack on. Colour of those little titanium. When it's heated at high temperature, the titanium gets that lovely purple blue.
sliding these little holes, you could actually pin down the stove. But because that's quite tight there, um, it really, it feels stable. Right, before the, before the, the light completely disappears, we'll give a quick tour, so the shape is coming up pretty quick to put the, you saw the roll out of the, the, the chimney, that's only it's about a third burn and it really does start to take its shape, it is getting chillier, um, set off it was quite warm, but it's, you know, it'll be down to freezing, minus one, maybe a little bit less tonight. Um, so stove set, chairs up, um, I'm going to get a um, pile of wood, but as you can see, I'm going to get a few bits chopped, I've got my axe, so do a little bit of that, there's some decent bits of good stove length that I can chop into little sections, but split this time, which will be better than the last time, and uh, I starting to unwind, decompress, breathe in. I mean, this, the view from this spot is just like, you know. Wooden fire starter. Got my gas always as a backup, and I might use the gas in the morning, but we'll see. So this is sitting there. We're going to just start cooking, <clears throat> getting hungry. It's half five, which is quite late for me. I've got bags of gas, so I thought I'd just like speed up the process again and just do a little bit of kind of gas. Just gonna share it between I've got the wind I've got the, the window open here. So I just chopped up some mushroom. It's gonna be too much, I'll let it shrink them down a bit. Good. I'm having a whole grain spicy Mexican rice, which is really easy to make. Mm. 
tender shape. That is looking, and we're going to wash it down with an alcohol free San Peller. What's that? San Pellicrino Lemonata. Cheers, everyone. Hope everyone's getting back into things. Right. Let's get, let's get a wee bit now. That's top cuisine tonight. Oh. Mm. I'm going to let that fire die down a little bit. It's roasting in here. I've got the door half open as well. Nice a little bit of um, a little spring onion. That's that's top, top dollar tonight. I'm going to um, just munch, and then we'll get the coffee on. I've got a little, I think we've got a sweet biscuit. She'll have her. Ooh, it's hot in here. Any little bits of kind of fat that are left over, I just fry up for, well, it's kind of half meat. It's not full fat for Audrey, so she gets, a, she always gets a wee treat when she's away. Bit of an incentive to keep her sweet. Tonight, three or four owls I've heard. One up this way, one down that way, one down that way. I love owls. Owls and buzzards. Buzzards are like like my totem. Over my life, I've I've seen buzzards. I remember once going to, I used to work in Glasgow, and I was getting a train along for a meeting in Glasgow from, from Fife and this buzz, I was in the train looking at when this buzzard was kind of flying alongside where I was in the train and I'll often see them driving to Dundee around, you know what I mean, just kind of, there's a couple of buzzards that'll be up in this part of the woods. It's a really, really connected to favourite sort of totem type kind of bird or animal. One of white chocolate, little bar. So 
so we're going to sit and just spend some quality time together, aren't we? You and me, eh? Uh -uh. You and me in the hot tent. Mm. She does her little bits of fried pork and everything. Oh my god, she's in her. Ah uh, ah uh, uh. She's in her element. So I'm going to carve a little spoon, find a little bit of wood. Um, Try and carve a little spoon out of that. Around and check the guys, but quite tough for that first spoon. A wee bit heavy on the, the sort of spoon part, but generally, yeah, tough to that. Thanks to April, by the way, for giving me the, the little end. Um, carving kit there's like four I think I put it in the last week's video there's four and a the, the actual sort of bowl spoon's definitely the hardest piece to to use but yeah I don't want to get it any thinner just, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm chuffed with that I might chip away at it but I don't think so right fire's on nice I'm gonna get my bed sorted and just go around and make sure all the the guys are in place and stuff but that's like, that's a late night for me. I'm still out playing and it's like about nine o'clock at night. <laughs> right, that's us. I've not even made a hot water bottle, it's roasting. I'm probably gonna need to take my hat off. But we're just, uh, she's asleep. It's about 10 and uh, the wind's picking up a little bit, but I went round, secured all the guys um, fires. I'm just gonna lie and enjoy the candlelight and get a wee sleep on and we'll catch you in the morning guys. Thanks again for spending the evening with me and Audrey. It's been nice and chilled. A wee bit of carving, really nice food. Nice night, so we'll get some some, some Zeds and uh, we'll catch up in the morning. Night night. Morning folks, another good night, nice and chilled, um, nice food, nice bit of carving, so fire, fire's on, coffee's on, um, crows are flying about, I love that. That is real life, that is brilliant. They all just roost and kind of move about. 
So, yeah, I was just lying to thinking about setting some goals and stuff and, you know what I mean, a couple of folk that I know kind of wanting to get into kind of doing a bit more. Think about splitting a tent with a couple of pals, 20, 25 pound each. Get yourself a really good wee tent, probably about a 30 pound sleeping bag, but, you know, build it up slowly, set some goals this year. Um, this kind of stuff's quite expensive, but I've, I've worked up toward this when I mean, I've been saving up and um, my next birthday, I'm, my big birthday is going to be 60, so I'm 55, 56 my next birthday. So, you know, I've been building up toward this, um, saving, birthdays, Christmases, etc. So, listen, I'm going to have a wee coffee, um, nice and chilled, waking up with the central heating on. Nice. Kicking out the heat, something. Oof. Kicking it out this morning. Nice, right. Coffee, bit of breakfast, then I'm going to slowly start getting packed up. Can't face the day, but has to be done. Right guys, that's us all packed up. Uh, leaving no trace, double checked, put lots of water over that little bit of ash. Um, it's all damp up here anyway. Um, thanks again for joining us last night, that was really nice. Um, oh, I meant to show you my, my spoon. Let me see. As well. I picked that bit because I saw that little sort of line in it and I thought that might be quite interesting down the down the spoon so quite pleased with that from a first ever spoon it could still do a lot of refinement but I thought that's a good number one so listen remember to hit that sub subscribe button if you've not already and a thumbs up, every little like makes a big, big difference to the channel. We're going to be building the channel this year. See how many we can get up to. Maybe a thousand by next Christmas, who knows. So thanks again. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of that last night. The stove, cosy, really good night. Um, she loves the stove. It's a real sort of dog's kind of treat. So. Listen, I hope everyone's taking care of it. I've not really given you a bit of an update on any of the kind of family and my old man with his dementia and stuff because I don't want to kind of sort of keep sort of bringing, the, bringing things down. Maybe next time I'll give everyone a bit of a, a run through, but a lot of good stuff happening as well. A lot of positive stuff for, for 2022. So hope everyone's taking care of it there and we'll catch you on the next trip. Take care.